Welcome back to Northeast Christian Church, joined once again by Pastor Tamara Brown. And uh, Tamara, we want to talk about uh, something that you guys have been a part of for a while, Recenter Ministries. This is an organization, what, 140 years? Yes, amazing. How did you guys become, what, partners with this organization and, and why is this so important? So our motto here is the Love the Ville lifestyle. Tyler mentioned that earlier in a segment, and we really do. We challenge people to love the Ville in your home, in your workplace, in your city, and your church. And so as we challenge families in our church to love the Ville, we had one family that really stepped up. And actually, and then they challenged their small group to step up. And they said, hey, we want to serve the community. We want to love the Ville with our kids. And that's really how this partnership started. A small group at our church found Recenter Ministries and they learned that they could cook for them once a month for the men in their life change program and take their family with them to serve together. And what a great model, right? Yeah. For parents to teach their kids how to serve. And so we, we just kind of unleash people, Eric, into the community to serve. And so this small group comes back to us and we find this amazing organization just through families in our church who are living the Love the Ville lifestyle. I love the way you say that. We unleash people into the community. And the, the undercurrent is you guys ask people to help and they say yes, and they do. That I think that's a, a great lesson. You know, people are willing to help. Yes. We just have to give people the option and, and the direction and the avenues and point things out. That's so right. without further ado, let's get great. to Joanne. Joanne visited uh, Recenter Ministries uh, and their Thrift and Thrive. We are here at Thrift and Thrive, which is an enterprise of Recenter Ministries. With me today is Corey Bledsoe. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm so excited to be here. Can you yeah, tell us a little you. bit about Recenter Ministries and sure. what you do? Yeah, Recenter Ministries has actually been around since 1881, so we're celebrating our 140th year this year. Congratulations. But yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's an, it's an incredible accomplishment, and uh, many people have contributed to that history. But uh, we're a ministry that reconciles homeless and hurting people to God, family, and community by the power of Christ and in partnership with the local church. Church. And uh, so we, we just want to serve um, our community, those that are experiencing homelessness. That is so wonderful. And how many men and women do you serve? It varies year to year, uh, but in our emergency day shelter as an example, and we serve upwards of 700 uh, different women and children uh, throughout the year. Uh, in our long-term life change program, we might serve around 100 men uh, throughout the course of the year. And these are men who are committed to a long-term uh, recovery program. In our emergency overnight, uh, we've seen 150 or so men come through uh, throughout a year. So it just it varies year to year, but just a number of people in need. Wow, that is incredible. Okay, so how many programs do you offer? We have three different programs, uh, an emergency day shelter for women and children. Uh, women and children come and take a shower, use the restroom, do laundry, store baggage, use this as a mailing address. We also have an overnight shelter for men. Uh, so we have 12 beds and men check in every evening and they check out in the morning and it's just a, a safe space uh, for men to stay. And then we have a long-term recovery program for men um, that houses anywhere uh, from 21 people, which is our first phase, uh, and then an additional 11, which is phase two. And why is re addiction recovery so important for those who are houseless? There's a lot of interaction. Uh, there's a lot of barriers. Um, there's a lot of overlap in, in difficulties and challenges and uh, addiction and homelessness and mental health and just brokenness in general. Um, we, just, we just see it all. And so what we wanna do is we wanna provide a holistic care. Um, so we understand that homelessness, certainly you solve it with housing and that's critical and that's important and we wanna support that. Um, but we also want to minister to the whole person and, and what are some of the things that maybe have contributed to that person ending up homelessness. And addiction is is oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes a, a part of that history uh, among many other things. And Corey, tell us how Thrift and Thrive plays into to your mission. Yeah, so for our long-term recovery program in, in the first phase, which is what we call life change recovery, um, employment's important, right? So somebody being a member of our community, employment's a, bi a big deal. And, and uh, the residents, the guys that come through the program, they have varying employment histories. And so while they're in this first phase, really focusing on, on some, some really big barriers, um, they come out here and serve. Uh, they work alongside our staff. Um, they're getting coached and trained and taught and have jobs and assignments. Uh, and then when they go to the workforce, 
we can also serve as a reference for them. And so it just kind of closes an employment gap that might be there for some of our guys too. And so all of the proceeds through Thrift and Thrive come right back into our ministry to help support our work, uh, but it really just ministers to our guys as well. And for anyone who's watching that's inspired by all this, how can we support ReCenter? Yeah, there's a myriad of ways. Obviously, there's the the, the giving side of it, but but volunteerism, um, food drives, you know, canned food drives or supply drives or something along those lines. But uh, a lot of those opportunities, you know, again, volunteerism just day to day. If you want to minister to to our women or if you want to come and engage with the guys in the program, um, a lot of that can be found on recenterministries.org, uh, and we'd be happy to talk with anybody having any interest. That was fantastic. Corey, thank you so much for having us today. Yeah, thank you for coming. From Thrift and Thrive, I'm Joanne Dixon. All right, still ahead here on Great Day Live, the team at Northeast walks the walk, creating a trust to help current homeowners stay put. We'll explain.